Brothers, this is Dr. Phil Chavez. September 11th in the year 1297 was the date of the famous battle at Stirling Bridge, depicted in the amazing movie Braveheart. Earlier that year, William Wallace leads a revolt against English aggression in Scotland, and he does so with untrained men. King Edward I Longshank ordered John de Warren, Earl of Surrey, to march north into Scotland at the beginning of September. Warren had a huge force of heavy cavalry and was well equipped for victory. Now the town of Stirling was the key point of entry into Scotland. Wallace had encamped with his army to the north of Stirling in an area called Abbey Craig. The English saw their chance to engage and were confident as they vastly outnumbered the Scottish forces. Now the Battle of Stirling was the first serious engagement and the speech of the movie was the greatest ever. Remember Wallace's words, I see a whole army of my countrymen here in defiance of tyranny. His men were fearful, looking out the English strength. And so he asks, what will you do without your freedom? Will you fight? And remember that first response, no, we will run and we will live. Brothers, God only knows what was said on the battlefield that day, but one thing was clear. These men were giving up their lives for a chance at liberty. On that morning, September 11th, before the battle, the English were forced to cross a narrow bridge necessitating many hours to cross. Wallace waited until more than one half of the English had made the crossing before his attack. A pivotal charge led by one of Wallace's captains caused many of the English soldiers to retreat as others pushed forward. During withdrawal, the bridge collapsed and many English soldiers were drowned. Of those trapped on the north side, more than 100 men at arms and over 5,000 English infantry were slaughtered. The Scots were victorious that day, but brothers, they had to keep faith in their cause, especially after the execution of Wallace. Their freedom came 17 years later on June 24th, 1314 at the Battle of Bannockburn under Robert the Bruce. Brothers, what sacrifice will you give ultimately for freedom and how long will you endure the fight? For the sake of your family, your country, and your faith, I hope it will be at any cost. Brothers, this is a one-to-one -one replica of the original sword used by William Wallace at the Battle of Stirling. You can view the original two-handed sword at the National Wallace Monument in Stirling, Scotland. The length of this sword is 67 inches and its weight is eight pounds. What a piece of history.